after a few weeks. Uh, when I prepare my speech of today, I ask him to myself what, I'm, uh, what I can talk about that will be important for myself at the end back and for you also. Then I choose to talk about life. Lately, I wonder myself, continue studying, getting another degree in study PhD or another master, or trying to do something to be valuable to others. Then I check on the internet, I find a speech of Emily Smith in TED. She said they are in order to live in life than being happy. That is special. And what is what we represent most of the time, happiness. Sometimes it is we represent as gain a best job with a comfortable salary and a constructive a beautiful house and married with a good or an or beautiful person. But sometimes this dream remains dream. And when if, when even if we achieve it, it is uh, uh, difficult for us to appreciate it because always as a human we want more perfection. Then I defined the tips of happiness as the process. We have just had this happiness in the process of realization of our dream and not the result. Because the result we will be uh, asking for more perfection. Then we want to be, but we can't be happy at this time. Is this happiness is enough for us to be happy in all our life? I said no. Then I, I, I trying to make some research. I found that data show chasing happiness can make people unhappy. For example, if I take United States of America, the power country in the world, from 1999 to 2016, the rate of suicide growth by 30 percent that is so important objectively the condition of life is getting is getting better but the people but the people feeling hopeless depressed and feel alone the research and study that predict this despair show also that it isn't the lack of happiness but lack of something else lack of having meaning in their life. That is special. Then I'm asking to myself, what is having having meaningful meaning in your life or being happy? What is the difference? Many psychologists define happiness as the state of comfort and ease. And have a good feeling in moments. But meaningful deeper. It belong. It comes from uh, belonging, serve others beyond yourself, and developing the best in within you. That is special. The research show also that if a person will have the meaning in their life, we have meaning in their life. Others person are resilient, and they do better at school and their work, and they even have the long life. Then the question is how each of us can make a can have the mean in their life. She found four four principles belonging, uh, purpose, transcendence, and storytelling. The first one is belonging. Is belonging come from a relationship with others where you are treated as who you are and not who you believe or who you hate. You are yourself. It is the really, uh, the really belonging come from love. You live with others, with your choose. You choose what you want to do. The second is purpose. The best purpose is serving others. And the key is to use your strength, not to, construct, not, uh, to make you violent on others but help others that give us more satisfaction and we are very happy if we feel that we are important in the life of others the first thing is transcendence here is to live uh, beyond above the agitation of the life 
to be focused on the essential. Essential. And we we can talk here about religion to know that everything we did in this world we it will end very soon. Then we have to adjust our actions to have the best life in the next in our next life. And the last is the storytelling. How to sum up our experience of life, good or bad, to motivate ourselves and and help the pupils to help family, friends, co-workers, etc. Then we have to redefine our context, our difficulties of the past to make a meaningful future. Thank you. Thank you.